Okay, now let's check in with Chef Mark and the Beko Kitchen. Speaking of Christmas, got a great Christmas lunch. Have you and the girls put the Christmas tree up yet? We certainly have. Nice. We, yeah, we did it nice and early this year. Do you year. have pets that attack it? Uh, no, no. I'm not, not interested in the Christmas tree. Oh, there you go. You're lucky. Well, no, I'll touch wood. Yeah, I'm <laughs> sorry. Right. It's all falling down. Now you know how to fix it. <laughs> I guess what are we doing exactly today? So I see some great ingredients. Right, yeah. Really good ingredients. Really fresh. Taste of summer. Look at this. Fresh basil. Yep. Asparagus. Gorgeous. A um, little bit of uh, chili and ginger. Fresh prawns. Mm. I'm going to make, make a nice little sort of uh, a lemon buttery sauce. Just a little bit to go around it. It's going to be really yeah. fast and tasty. Perfect summer dish. Lunch. Barbecue. Edition. Nice. Christmas oh. Day edition, whatever you want. Yeah, no, good. Sounding great. We'll get the recipe a little later in the show. Well, great to have you with us in the Beko Kitchen. And Mark, you're on your own because you failed to win me. <laughs> <laughs> so goodbye. Uh, see ya. <laughs> no, OK, in seriousness, so I'll stick around for free. Uh, what, are you, what are you making today? We've got the asparagus, we've got the shrimp. It's just like a shrimp cocktail, but you're, like, you're moving it into the 2018s. Yeah, sort of. Nice. Yeah, yeah. But it's, it, but it's all about um, speed, taste, flavour, freshness, summer. Mm, nice. And not a lot of ingredients. No, so no, really, really simple. So asparagus, beautiful asparagus. So it's in season now, so you can get it uh, pretty cheap. Uh, get your asparagus. Just take about sort of an inch off the so. That's all the woody bit, so you can okay. get rid of that. Keep it nice and long. Um, just, just works really well. And if you've got this, you know, it's really nice. It's really green. It looks really healthy. It looks like it's just been mm. picked. You know, it's not too thick. It's not too thin. It's good. You know, if you want, you can peel it a little bit. But you know what? I'm not even going to bother peeling it. It's nah, really good. So, so a little tip for you, put it on a, um, a little plate, spread it out, and I'm just going to put some olive oil on, really nice Gee, olive oil. We even drizzle well. <laughs> oh, no. Well, it's the actual stuff for it. <laughs> can't take all the credit. So a little bit of uh, salt and pepper, and then I've got a griddle pan here. Yep. So I'll get this nice and hot. And that's going to have nice griddle marks on yeah, it. Yeah, so just give it a nice uh, turn around so the asparagus is all nice and shiny. Mm -hmm. And then we're just going to pop it in. You want them all touching the grill? Yeah, all touching the grill. That that'll help. Yep. And then uh, and then just leave it. So yeah. we want some nice um, nice uh, bar marks on there. Nice. And then we'll flip it over. And you know, two or three minutes. That will be. Uh, you get some nice colour on there. Nice flavour. And it will just soften slightly. You still want like a nice little crunch in there. You know. Brilliant. Okay. Nice. Don't keep cooking it until it's light brown. Okay. Okay. Just want those marks on them. Exactly. I'll keep an eye on that for you. I'll grab the tongs in preparation just in case. Good. Now work. we're on to the onion. Yeah, so I've got an onion here. So onion and garlic. Um, so another pan on here. Yep. Just getting it warm. Nice and uh, fast, isn't it? It's good. Oh, it's, it, it's really fast. You know? And this is a great dish to do for, um, you know, lots of people if they come around. Because you can have all this um, stuff prepar uh, prepared before, you know? Have all your onion chop, your garlic chop, your ginger cook. Um, do this outside on the barbecue. So you can do this on the barbecue, can you? Oh yeah, yeah, you can do that, you know. Okay, well these still aren't turnable yet. There seems to be a lot of smoke coming from here. <laughs> just, just that's just heat, in. isn't it? Okay, cool. So no, need a bit longer. Okay, yeah, you know, and because you've got the little the raised uh, rivets, you know, you're not going to blacken the whole okay, thing. Right. You know, you're going to get these little marks. Right, so a little bit of oil in here. Yep. Uh, onion goes in there. We'll get it a little bit hotter and then smash some garlic in there, cook it in, and we just want to sweat that, so no colour, just get the flavour of the garlic and the onion softening, uh, and then we're ready for our next stage. Nice, I like what you said about getting this all ready so you can do it on the barbecue, it's the perfect time of year, it's going to be delicious, we're going to show you the next steps in just a minute. Now though, we have the shrimp to finish off, so we've got our asparagus, looking good, we've got the char grill marks on it, which you like, Mark? Yeah, that's it, so you've got a nice bit of colour, flip it over, get the same amount of colour and you'll, you'll feel it, you know, it's just softened but it's still got a nice bit of crunch on there. Nice, onions. Onions, garlic in there, just yep. sweating off. Nice. Right, now you can put the uh, prawns in. Yum. I'm going to turn the heat up slightly and we're just going to cook them in those onions and garlic. Okay, nice. I can okay, do that for I've you. I've got some, got some ginger. Ginger goes in there as well. Yep. A few uh, chilli flakes for a little bit of heat. <laughs> Only a little bit. Fancy that. Well, you, 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 we've got butter as well. We have got butter. So, so what we're going to do now is we want to make like a little butter sauce around it. Oh, yum. So I've got a little bit of chicken stock, or you could use vegetable stock or fish stock if you wanted. Yep. So just a little splash of liquid. Got some cold butter, which we'll just monte through, which just sort of emulsifies into it and thickens it. And a little bit of lemon juice, and then, of course, lots and lots of fresh basil last minute. And Fantastic. then you can, you can chop the asparagus, pop it through if you want, or you can do a bed of asparagus and put all the prawns on top. But it's really, really quick. You know, so you're just cooking the prawns, just, you know, nice and sort of over a medium heat, sort of slowish with all those flavours. So all those flavours are going to help, um, you know, season the prawns. Give it a little uh, salt and pepper. 
And this is the thing I like about these types of recipes, Mark, because, you know, this time of the year, you, you finally get a couple of days off, then you get visitors that turn up, and then you think, well, actually, we might have something to eat for dinner, and this is really fast, economical and tasty. Love exactly. It. All right, let's get it to that stage. I'm going to put a little bit of that liquid in there. You know, so it's not a lot. What was that liquid again? Uh, that was just a little bit of chicken stock. Okay. A little bit of butter, a little bit more butter. Oh, yum. And then, um, you know, you can take it off the heat now and just sort of mix it around. All right, so you can just keep stirring that. Okay. A little bit of lemon juice as well. Oh, this is delicious smelling already. And, you know, I'll just pop the heat just back on low. But you can see that butter's just melting into that liquid there, creating this nice lemony sauce. Oh, beautiful. All right, big handful of basil. And there's nothing, oh, there's nothing better than basil, you know, you just pick it mm. like that. Oh, Fantastic God, that flavor. Is amazing. You know, and then just roughly chop it, you know, screw it up, roughly chop it, release all those flavors. And then that goes in there, last minute, just before you serve, toss it around, taste it, a little bit more salt. Your asparagus is done. And that's it, that's how fast the, you know, the prawns take to cook. You don't want to be cooking the prawns like, you know, all day. Okay, right. They don't, they don't take a long time to cook. Nice work. Good, that's it, boom. Okay, nice, wow, this is fantastic. <laughs> smells fantastic, it's gonna taste fantastic as well. We'll eat it towards the end of the show. The full recipe is on our website, along with the ingredients list. Mark, that is smelling incredible from the Beko Kitchen. Look Looks great that. too. It's fantastic. Just gonna finish it off, a little bit of lemon and some more fresh basil leaves. Now, Dennis Marsh was eyeing that up before, so I'm going to save him some, Dennis. Don't you worry, Dennis. I will save you some. Better get in there quick. Yeah, that's right. What are you doing tomorrow? <laughs> right, tomorrow I've got dispatcher.